Alright guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island. I'm stuck with you guys and we're always smiling. It is 9.51 right now, since in the night. And we're going to be doing a dish that is going to be really simple, but it's going to look rich. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I did drop something on Instagram where I asked people, you know, what do they think I should make? My sister put in a request and she said she wanted me to do some uh, pork chops. But went to the store, there was only pork ribs. Basically, it's a very simple dish, no marination needed, and it's going to be all about the honey and the garlic. All right, so um, stay tuned for this dish. I'm sure you guys are gonna enjoy it. Something that you can do quick and easy at home. Let's do it. All right, so you guys already know that I'm at an Airbnb. You'll find all the details in the description box. I did have a video where I did a whole review on the spot. Now, I'm gonna be using their knife that they have at this b, &B So it's not my customary chef's knife. So I'm gonna be using that right now and to cut these into sections. Usually you could do it just like this, it's going to take a little bit longer and we want the dish to be cooked a lot faster and maybe it's going to be resembling a little bit closer to a pork chop. So we're going to follow the bone. Yeah, it could be a little bit sharper. I did sharpen this knife yesterday. But that's basically what we're doing. We're going to be cutting these into nice little slabs like that and that would be it. Knife could definitely be sharper, but I don't think most persons coming here would be <laughs> cooking the way I am. Because <laughs> we're at the fact that the pork is taking a little bit of a while, but I'll get to it. Alright, so this is my deboning knife. It's not the best knife to actually, you know, cut this, but it's actually um, a mixture of steel and I think it's high carbon. That's a good blend for the blade. And you'll realize that this is able to cut through a lot easier and it's not doing the job that it's supposed to be doing. It's really for deboning and it's able to cut through this a nice or sharp or clean cut. So if you're doing meat and stuff like that, make sure you have a good knife to actually get the job done. Alright, so we had some water boiling up really quick. And this we're going to actually just um, throw some potatoes in there. So first let's throw some pimento seeds. You guys know I like pimento seeds. Um, using some sea salt chunks. A bit more. And of course some black pepper. You don't have to go hustle hard with it to be quite honest. You can actually just put some salt and that would be it, but yeah. And I'm gonna use, I chose like the smallest potatoes that they're already washed, keeping the skin on. If you don't want the skin, just unpeel the skin, but I like the color and the texture that it has. It's gonna give you a little pop on the skin or you break through the skin and you get to the soft part, so I like that. So we're just gonna be boiling these potatoes until they're about three quarter way done. All right, to season this is very simple. Just add some salt. Right now I'm using some Himalayan salt. As I always say, it's not as strong as the other salt. And it's supposed to be healthy. So I'm gonna show you how to do one side. The other side is gonna be the same method. Make sure I have enough salt on it. black pepper and then last is some garlic powder again season it with your heart's content <laughs> it doesn't really matter and then it's gonna do the same thing for the next side
right, so pot is just about ready. Nice bit of virgin oil in there. It's on, you can do it to between medium to high heat. So right now this is like almost high heat. All right, so we're getting our chops really quick. And we're cooking them for about four to five minutes on either side. If you cut any a bit too thick, it means it's going to be a bit long now. So for example, this is a thick of so maybe a couple seconds longer, but not really. So basically, our Brussels sprout is very similar to a lettuce and a cabbage in one, very peculiar. But what we're doing is just cutting it in half, so when you get a nice little sear to it, it has more surface area, and it's a lot easier to you know, put in a mouth. And that's basically what we're doing. If you want, you can do them full, but I rather cut in half. So just run our potatoes under some cool water. Preferably I'd like even smaller potatoes like baby potatoes than these. What I'm gonna do is gonna cut slight slits into them, I'll show you guys. And then I'll, you know, when I'm cooking them back down again, I'll add some herbs, some butter, some rice. Usually you guys know I like um, deglazing the pan. 
when there's any like little burning or charring to the pan, like you add a really strange flavor to your meal, you don't want that. So I'm opting not to do that this time. Working on a medium heat, I just want to saute these garlic really quick. Some garlic and some thyme in there. By right, you're supposed to use some um, color thing again, some broth, but we don't have any broth, so I'm just going to add some water. And a bit of salt. That's gonna be my little ghetto broth. And if you can get some chicken broth, preferably, then definitely do that. And then we're going to add about a cork full or a cork full and a half of um, vinegar. You can use vinegar, you can use white wine, you can even use apple cider or anything that is very um, acidic. I'm going to give you the same thing that we're going out for. Simmer just a little bit. You don't have to worry much about the, the pork juice because the pork actually has some juice that's draining off of it nonetheless. And the start of the show, a bit of honey. You kind of want that tangy kind of flavor, so you're just gonna add as much honey and vinegar until you get that tangy flavor. And we do want this sauce to actually thicken up as well. So it's gonna be like a nice little glaze. So you see it starts thickening up a bit. Put the heat down until I even heat. setting, the broil setting, sorry, and just finish it off for about two minutes or so. Alright, so I'm dropping a little bit of olive oil into the pan, put the pan on medium heat, drop a generous amount of butter. Uh, 
purple on top. potatoes to be nice and buttery a nice amount of butter to that it's like what time is it like 11 <laughs> it's some late night cooking guys really late night cooking me guys some garlic but I turned the oven off at two minutes That sauce on the pork chop, banging. Butter sauce, butter sprout, done really well. I think my only flaw with the potatoes are 
because I had put them in the, the cold water to shock them, yeah, it gives it a little bit of a, a firmer feel. I want it inside to be put straight away. But for the sake of the video, I shocked it. But apart from that, really good. Do you have a dog? Yes, it is. Huh? It's useless. This is good. Yeah, enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Guys, you know, everybody wants to hear a kind of review. We're a bit tired, but. Feathers in 